That breaking news, a woman's body found in a remote area of York County, and we have just confirmed it is that of a missing insurance investigator. We have team coverage tonight. Glenn Counts has information on the court appearance of the man suspected of killing Sally Rohrbach. But first, Tony Burbeck, live from York, where that body was found. Tony. Yeah, Dave, what I can tell you is the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department's crime scene van and everybody else that was pretty much camped out right here, well, they left, oh, within the last 15 minutes or so. What we can tell you is that Sally Rohrbach's body is now at the medical examiner's office where it will undergo an autopsy. Now, until today, this was a murder without a body, and, but that changed after investigators got a tip last night that Rohrbach might be in this area off of Vista Road. They ended up calling off that search last night due to darkness and then resumed it again first thing this morning. Investigators tell us they found her body about 2.30 this afternoon in some woods. Now, here's what Captain Jerry Hoffman said live on our air when we asked if it's obvious how she died. No, not an obvious manner of death. Uh, and again, I haven't seen the body, but the um, persons that are working with the body cannot at this point tell me how she died. Was it hidden? Um, it was a short distance off the roadway, and that's about all I'm going to say about that. And when, another thing that they aren't saying at this point is whether the suspect, the person who's been charged with her murder, Michael Arthur Howell, is the one who told them where to find the body. Again, they're not saying exactly how they came to know that she was back in these woods. We're live now with the Mobile Newsroom in York County. I'm Tony Burbeck. Well, let's talk now about the court appearance of the man accused of killing Rohrbach. WCNC's Glenn Counts is continuing our breaking coverage. Glenn? Well, Sonia, it was the first time any of us have seen Michael Howe since his arrest on murder charges. Under these circumstances, sometimes you can see the stress on a man's face, but not this afternoon. Michael Howe walked into court not showing any emotion. He didn't appear nervous or concerned. Some of his family members were there to support him. He didn't acknowledge them in court, and they refused to say anything to the media as they left the courthouse. The 40-year-old man has been charged with Sally Rohrbach's murder. Police have not said what evidence links him to the death, but sources say that he has been giving them information that might lead investigators to the body. They have searched a couple of locations in York County today based on that info. How could be in for the fight of his life? His attorney told the court that this could be a death penalty case. She made that statement when she asked how be given a court-appointed attorney. The judge rebuffed that request, citing Howe's income, 6000 per month, and his property, two new cars and a nice house. His attorney countered that his expenses were $7,200 per month and that he could not afford a lawyer. In death penalty cases, it's not unusual for expenses to exceed a million dollars. It's up to the DA to decide to seek the death penalty. That decision has not yet been made. Reporting live from the newsroom, Glenn Counts, Carolina's News Connection. Glenn,